Well hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna try to attempt to run the new Cyberpunk 2077 game with the Nvidia GT 1030 both on 720p and 1080p resolution but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe down below and thank you for watching. Well before I go on with this test here I would like to ask everyone for a small favor go ahead and hit that like button down below it really helps to grow the channel and I appreciate it. Also if you're new to my channel please do consider to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want the most best accurate FPS benchmarks on the latest games then you come to the right place. So I'm sure you're well aware by now that uh, this game is very poorly optimized and it's extremely hard to run especially on lower end hardware and uh, and that's what we're gonna do here test out this GT 1030 uh, I must say it was pretty difficult uh, to get the most um, juice out of it every new cranny was pretty tough I was able to squeeze a couple of extra FPS by uh, overclocking it and uh, you know using a pretty nice uh, system uh, so let me show you the settings here starting off with the 1080p resolution there there it is graphics setting the lowest possible but I am going to keep this both resolutions on full scale both on 1080p and 720p I'm not going to lower any of the resolutions keep it at 100 I feel there's no point to go any less than 100 already on something that's on the lowest possible settings and the only other option here I turn down is the crowd density to low usually it's on high even on the lowest that tends to gain about an extra FPS or so now also do keep an eye on my channel I'm gonna be testing out this game this whole week on multiple different graphics cards ranging from low end uh, mid, mid range and to high end so um, yeah please keep in mind that uh, I'm gonna take in depth each card and just test it out really well with the uh, all different settings so yeah that's uh, pretty much it on that so let's see what we have here all right so I was able to get up to you know almost 18 FPS here now for what from what I've seen so far without overclocking this card getting about 11 to 12 FPS maybe 13 sometimes so a gain like this 2 to 3 FPS is a really big gain uh, we're talking about you know maybe 20% or so 15-20% gain on the overclock that's pretty pretty nice and does make a difference it makes you know the 1080p playable nothing I would recommend of course I think the biggest issue is that um, any graphics card with 2 gigs of VRAM is gonna really struggle with this game and I already tested a higher end much much more powerful card that has 2, two gigs of VRAM and it really struggled to stay at 30 FPS so uh, you know that's really the future of this new high-end games they're gonna want more than 2 gigs of VRAM 4 and up and then <laughs> soon I'm sure 4 is not gonna be enough at all so we'll see what happens It looks decent. Nothing nothing to brag about. A bit dull. But the key for me was to really opa to try to get this thing running smoothly. And it's like at the borderline. Oh boy. Oh, you 
gonna run away, okay? Oh, I like this one. This is a nice one. What happened here? That's too fancy for me. How about this one? Oh yeah, of course not. Nah. Oh, this this crappy car I could get. Whoa. Yeah, as I'm sure you're well aware that uh, it's like a two-step process to hijack the car. Not like uh, Grand Theft, you just press one button, it was much easier. And the handling of these cars is whew, it's not that good at all. I don't really take your time. Alright, so I guess that's enough for this resolution. Let's go to 720p and finish this off. Alright, so we're going to get a little bit more FPS, not much more, but... It's now even quicker and smoother. Alright, now I'm just gonna do one last thing here and run this on medium settings. There you go. So we're like on medium settings on 720p. Once again, 100% resolution. Now that, that really uh, changes the look a lot better look and the FPS you know you do lose some here as you can see we drop down to now mid to low teens here but the quality is much better I don't know if you could tell but yeah it's much better so there is a little room to play with, with some settings. Again, if you're 
thinking about buying this game, uh, this card for this game. Absolutely not. Not a good idea. But the game runs okay with it, I guess. I have no issues starting up the game, loading, nothing, no issues. The menus work, everything works good. So. It's got the latest drivers as of December 9th. Yeah, so that's it. That concludes the test. Let me know what you guys think. The rest of my videos, I'm probably not going to do commentary. We'll see. Depends uh, which card I'm going to use. But uh, like I said, uh, stay tuned for many other videos on Cyberpunk 2077.